Hi everybody, it's Maya and today we are going to be reviewing the ColourPop Such a Flirt Lip Bundle. This comes with 10 lip liners in there and these are definitely more flirty shades. They do have a warmer bundle where there's like reds and browns and oranges and they also have a more neutral bundle where there's more like of an everyday nude kind of colors from ranging from light to deep. This one definitely was catching my eye the most just because it did have a nice range of more neutral colors that you could wear every day, lighter and darker, and then you have the pops of pinks and purples in the middle. And if you guys know me at all, you know my favorite lip color to wear is like a pink or just like a nude color. I can't wait to swatch these lip liners for you guys and show you what they look like my skin tone and just to see all the colors on someone's actual lips so if you're interested then just keep on watching it'll be a quick one this is all of the shades nice and up close i think there's a wide variety of shades in here ranging from all these different types of looks i think if you were going to pick up any of the bundles i feel like this one is the most versatile just because it does have fun ones in there, but it also does have nudes. I don't know. It depends on what you like, though. So this is the shade Birdie. This is it side by side. This appears to be a rosy pink kind of color. I thought it was going to be really light and like nude almost, but it actually comes off as like my perfect everyday. My lips but better. It seems to match my lips perfectly, but it just adds like just a little bit and it goes really well with my eye look today so yeah i love this shade it's cute it just seems like a staple that everyone should have in their collection this is oh snap it definitely is more nude it looks more of like a traditional pinky brown nude color this one seems to match my normal lip liners that i wear to a t i have a shade in my collection right now from refi beauty called rosewood that looks exactly like this and I feel super comfortable with this shade and it goes with I feel like every single look and that is Starship compared to the others this is definitely the most pink so far and it's giving off a little bit of magenta to it and a little bit of coralness I feel like it's not quite like the brightest pink but it's more of like a wearable pink shade that I feel like if you are more on like the shy side and or just new to makeup and you want to wear pink, this would probably be like the perfect shade for you because it's not hot Barbie pink. It's not super pale bubblegum pink. It's kind of just in the middle and it's still kind of comes off as nude in a way that is fetch it is the brightest and i really do like it it seems like it's perfect for summer it just is that bright pink lip that is still super wearable still also super colorful and beautiful as well and this is dial up definitely more of a purpley pink still pink but with a hint of purple this is definitely a little bit much for me it still looks good, but I don't know what I would wear this color with. It is getting to that point where it's super loud and vibrant. I think with the right makeup look, this will look stunning, but as of right now, it's not my favorite. It's still, it's super pretty, it's just not my favorite. My lips are starting to get stained. <laughs> So compared to the others, this one is definitely like the craziest so far, I feel like. Like it just makes the other shades look not so crazy. This shade is definitely a little bit less intense. I'm like, that looks horrible. I'm so sorry, guys. It's not as scary once it's on the lips. I feel like it is more of a berry toned purple. Although, I feel like this one look really pretty like in the winter time probably. Still not my favorite, but it is more wearable than I thought. Swatch, it looks more like a, almost like a wine color in a way. Still super, super intense, but I like this better than the last shade because it is a little bit of a more crazier, like bold lip color, but it's not so bad of an undertone i feel like 
this would look really really pretty with like a soft pink eye look or like a neutral brown look yeah i like this shade that's really pretty and this is good and plenty it reminds me of like a deeper rose color similar to the second shade that we swatched but just slightly deeper and i would definitely wear this every day as well that shade is also really pretty and it's not nearly as deep as these colors it definitely is like a more nude toned purpley shade i like this shade a lot and this one is really really pretty they all look very similar but they all seem to have different undertones swatch it's giving more of a true berry yeah this one definitely is has more of a warmth to it with the eye look that i have right now it's giving me almost like a easy red lip to wear like you can get away with calling this a red lip but it still leans more berry toned and it's just I feel like this would be less intense than a straight up red. And there we have it. That was all 10 shades of the ColourPop Such a Flirt Bundle lip liners. And here is the final list of swatches ranging from the first ones we did to the last. And these shades are all just so stunning so that was it for my video today guys i hope you enjoy it and i hope that this video was helpful if you were interested in what these colors look like on somebody's lips or if you're a similar skin tone to mine and you wanted to see what these colors would look like then there you go um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and yeah I'll see you guys next time. Bye.